Okay, let's talk about a basic algebra concept that you really need to grasp. So uh, this applies to any uh, student studying algebra, whether that be pre-algebra, algebra one, algebra two, college algebra, it doesn't make a difference. What we wanna understand is that when we have a statement like this, and what we're uh, saying here is three times a number plus one is five, well, this is not algebra, okay? You're like, hey, what are you talking about? This is just a sentence. Well, we need to talk about how we can convert a verbal statement into an algebraic or variable uh, sentence and then go ahead and answer the question. And the question is, what is the number? Okay, so this really comes into play, especially when you're tackling algebra word problems. We need to understand how to translate phrases, verbal phrases, into algebraic phrases and solve. So if you want to go ahead and give this a shot, go ahead and pause the video and put your answer into the comment section, but I'm going to explain this precisely here in just one second. And if this video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. So let's get into this topic here, how to translate a verbal phrase into an algebraic or variable phrase and then answer this question. Okay, so as I um, said, that, uh, you know, when you see something written in a sentence and you're saying, well, this is not math because it's a bunch of words. Well, not so quick. OK, again, we can write a verbal phrase um, as a variable and or algebraic phrase. OK, this is called just translating something. And then, of course, we can write an algebraic phrase as a verbal phrase. So you need to know how to do both of these skills. And this is something that you should be learning in your um, kind of basic uh, beginning chapters of algebra. So uh, it would kind of fall under the topic of translating verbal um, and algebraic phrases, something along those lines. But uh, we're going to go ahead and interpret what this uh, means right here. And this hopefully is kind of obvious to you. But let's go ahead and read this. We have three times a number plus one is five. Well, what we're looking for here is certain kind of keywords. Okay, and we need to kind of set this up, and uh, we're going to go ahead and do this now. Okay, all right. So again, not that difficult. So let's go ahead and just read our uh, verbal phrase. We're going to translate it into a variable and or algebraic sentence. Okay, so we're going from a verbal sentence, and we're going to translate this thing, and then we're going to answer the question. All right, so three, all right, so let's go ahead and start just uh, taking this uh, sentence, uh, th these words, one word at a time. So we have three, okay, so well, we could translate that as the number three, three times. Well, what does that mean? Well, times means multiplication, and we'll go ahead and use this little multiplication operator right there, this little dot. Now, let me speak about this real quick. Uh, this can be confusing for students because we're used to writing multiplication like this. Sometimes you can write multiplication like that. But here's one thing about multiplication, right? So here we have multiplication, division, addition, subtraction. These are kind of our basic uh, math operation symbols. So you want to stay away from this X uh, in algebra, okay, in terms of multiplication. Because if you had a letter like, say, 3X, this means 3 times X. If you went and you said, well, let's write 3 times X as 3 times X like that, that's very confusing that people would interpret that as like 3X squared. So when it comes to multiplication, when you're doing a translation problem like this, just use this little dot there, that multiplication dot, uh, that will help you out, okay? All right, so three times, now we have a number. Well, what number? Well, we don't know, okay? So a number, anytime you hear a phrase, a number, well, that's a variable, okay? That's, we don't know the number, it's a placeholder. So use some sort of a variable. Use a common variable like x, y, a, B, C, something like that. I uh, always uh, suggest you use a lowercase x, but it could be anything. So we have three times a number plus, well, that's pretty easy, plus right here. We can use it just regular plus uh, math operator, plus one. Okay, so kind of translating this uh, across. Now, anytime you see the word is, okay, this word here is always the equal sign, okay? So we have three times a number plus one is, you can almost think of this as saying is equal to, all right? So is is going to be the equal sign, and then of course five is going to be five. All right, so let's go ahead and put this together now. So we have three times x plus one is equal to five. So in algebra, we don't write three times x this way. We don't say, oh, three times x. We certainly don't go three times x like that, okay? That's what I talked about. So three times x, though, you want to interpret that as three x. Three x is three times x. 
hopefully you knew that, but uh, let's go ahead and continue on now. So three times X is three X plus one is equal to five. So now we just went ahead and translated this verbal phrase into an algebraic or variable sentence, uh, which basically is a uh, an equation, okay? A nice linear equation. And at this point, you need to know how to solve this. So if you wanna go ahead and actually pause the video and see if you can solve this real quick, it's not that difficult. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and solve it now. So let's go ahead and see the solution. Okay, so uh, we have th uh, three X plus one is equal to five. First thing we need to do is subtract one from both sides of the equation. And notice I'm showing all my work here. Okay, so then you kind of add down in a column manner. 3x plus nothing is 3x. 1, well, positive 1 minus 1 is 0. That goes away. 5 minus 1 is 4. All right, so to get x, I need to do what? Well, I need to divide both sides of the equation by 3. Okay, that would give me x. So 3 divided by 3 is 1. Okay, we never write a 1x like this, but that's what it is. Anytime you see like x is equal to 5, Technically, this is 1x, but we just never really uh, write that 1. But you should understand there is a 1 there. So 3 divided by 3, of course, is 1. 1x one or x is equal to what? 4 divided by 3 or 4 thirds. And we'll leave our answer just like this. Okay, did you get this right? Did you know how to do this? Well, if that is the case, I must give you a nice little lovely happy face and A++, a 125% and multiple stars to make you feel extra special today. Nice job, okay? Well, uh, here's the deal, all right? Uh, the only way you're going to get better at translating uh, verbal sentences into algebraic or variable sentences, you need to get good at this because this is kind of the key skill especially in algebraic word problems. Now, if you need additional help in algebra, check out these courses right here. So pre-algebra is uh, for those of you that are studying basic algebra. But uh, if you are further along in mathematics, then you may wanna check out my Algebra 1 or Algebra 2 courses. Now, my Math Skills Rebuilder course is a review course. I cover basic math algebra and geometry in this course i'm going to leave links to all these courses in the description of this video all right so with all that being said i definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures thank you for your time and have a great day